Hey guys, so we got our fence done, if you can see it. We got it all the way done. It only took us six months. No, it probably didn't take that long. It's just, we work, you know, so we really only worked on it every, every weekend. And then it rained, so, you know, everything happens in between. Um, this fence, she already jumped it. In that first corner I showed you, she already jumped this fence. Like, she jumped it to go get another dog. And it was, it was bigger than a chihuahua, but it was, I don't know, it was smaller than a bulldog. And she chased this poor little dog until it rolled on the ground and like surrendered to her. And then she was just like, heh, whatever. And then took off running through the neighborhood. And I was trying to go after her because she's not very friendly with dogs. There's only one dog, and that's my neighbors who she loves their boxer. Only dog, which is weird because it's a female and she's a female. So I took off running after her because I didn't want her to hurt that poor little dog. And I had no shoes on, nothing. And it was winter. Oh my God, I was so mad because my feet were freezing. And then I was running through the grass trying to get her. And then the wetness just didn't help my freezing feet. <sighs> so that's fuzzy in her new fence that she already jumped. So now I have to basically stay out here with her and babysit her. On another note, the ball python that I rescued, I found her a home. And they already had two other ball pythons. And they have, I think they said they had two little kids. But they, uh, they seem pretty cool. I mean, you know, they've, they've had their other ones for about a year. And seem like they take care of them pretty well. So I just, I gave it to her for free. I'm not trying to make money off animals. You know, I just want them to go to a good home. Um, but I told her if they, if there's a problem and they couldn't ever keep her, that I would be glad to take her back. Uh, let's see. Another thing is my finger. Let's see if I can show it to you. I, I thought I broke it, but I didn't. Let me see if you can see the bruising on it. Uh, you can see it's kind of like swollen, but that's about it. I think my camera was out of focus, so I don't know if you really saw it. But my doctor was like, oh, what happened? And I just started cracking up. And I was like, well, my husband and I decided to play tug of war with my pants. And he just kind of was like, what? And so I told him the story, which is, uh, my pants were, I was about to throw them away. Ladies, you know where pants wear out. So he's like, ha ha, let's rip them and make shorts. Not that I was going to wear them out just for the fun of it. So I was holding by like the waist and then he ripped the one leg off, came off great, turned into shorts, you know? And then, so the other leg, when I was holding it, I didn't realize that the button on the front was in front of my finger so when he jerked it like ripped my finger with oh my god it hurt so bad but now it's not too bad anymore i just have this stupid little finger splint thing on it but the doctor said eh, it might take about a month to heal just because it's severely sprained and i guess you know you use your hands a lot and 